I'm back with the 2.0 release of Tattools. This video is just going to cover what's new in Tattools V2. So if you haven't seen the Tattools V1 video, it walks through all the features. So definitely check that out. Link is in the description of this video. Okay, there's a lot to cover, so let's get right into it. Stick around to the end of this video where I'll give you a full step-by-step -step install from scratch for UE 5.5 to get game animation sample and Tattools 2.0 into it. First thing, I've added Unreal 5.5 support since 5.5 is out of preview. Tattoos V2 is available on the GitHub now, and I've pushed release builds for both 5.4 and 5.5 to the GitHub as well. The Unreal 5.4 version is on the main branch, and if you're on 5.5 and you're using Git to grab it, you can just check out the UE 5.5 branch for your Unreal 5.5.0 projects. Moving on to the features. First, some small changes. Tattoos V2 has a quality of life improvement for selection sets where I've made it so you can shift click to add selection sets to your current selection, and editing the name has been moved to Alt-click. You still control click to set the selection set, but I may change that as well in the future to allow removal of a set from the current selection, if that's of interest to anyone. I've also fixed two broken buttons in the right hand picker, the middle metacarpal and first bone on the middle finger, so that'll make it much easier for your characters to flip people the bird. Next up is selection highlighting. This was a much requested feature, and Tattools now features full selection highlighting in the picker, and it works regardless of where you initiate the selection from, whether it's via the picker, sequencer, or the viewport. On the filter front, to address the difficult of being able to precisely shift keys, I've added a new filter for shift first or last key to playhead, which will align the keys to now. And you're in complete control of now because you're a time lord, at least in the sequencer anyway. And now for the biggest update in Tattools V2. I commissioned custom modifications to the UE5 control rig to add three new controls, left weapon control, right weapon control, and attach, which control weapon L, weapon R, and the attach bones respectively. There's a control rig for the UE5 mani that controls the weapons bones, and one for the UAFN mani for controlling all three, including the attach bone, which is needed to create or adapt animations for the traversal logic in the game animation sample project. Now those controls are easily accessible from the viewport, sequencer, or tattoos picker. The UE5 mannequin doesn't have an attach bone, so unless you add it to that skeleton, the attach bone won't work. But UAFN has all three, so go nuts. The weapon bones make it very easy to animate complex one or two-handed prop animations, including sword tricks, scripted fidgets, and this. Whatever this is. Let me know in the comments if you'd like a full tutorial on how to do a card flip or a weapon twirl or anything like that using the new Tattoos rig. It is pretty straightforward though. You just animate the weapon R or weapon L or the attach bone, depending on what rig you're using, to do whatever it is you want the object that you're interacting with to do. That's it for Tattoos V2. Drop a comment and let me know what you think about the update, and especially if you have any ideas for further improvement. Also, jump on the Discord to join our community that's over 3,000 strong and growing. I'd love to see what you make with Tattoos in the Show Off channel. All right. So we're gonna just create a from scratch 5.5 project that has Tattoos version two in it and is ready for us to do our animating. So you start in your Epic Games Launcher, you go to the library. If you don't have 5.5 installed, you go by engine versions, press the plus sign, and then you can select the version you don't have, which would be 5.5.0 from here. And then click install and follow all of the instructions to get the prerequisites and everything else so you can get it. Once you do have it installed, you come down to your fab library and search for a game animation sample. If you don't already have the game animation sample, you just come here and then just add it to your library. You just get it, it's free, and you can just get it that way. Now, I have the game animation sample, so I'm gonna go ahead and create a project. Select the folder where you want it, put it here, select 5.5 as the version that you wanna install, and hit create. Okay, so that should now be in here. So if I just type 5.5, let's see, I have, Tattools 201 UE55. Now, before I actually open this, I want to go ahead and add Tattools 2.0 plugin. Once it's up on Fab, you'll just be able to pull it down the same way and add it to the project or add it to your engine down here. But until then, you go to Show and Folder. That'll open this up. We're going to go ahead and open a browser, github.com slash 3 games slash 3 anim tools. Links in the description. And you can, the easiest way to do this, you can, if you have Git, you can just do a Git clone of this repo using this URL. Um, but if you want to instead just pull it from the release, you can go to releases and then under Tattools V2 550, you just go pull this zip file right here. All right. So once you have that zip file, you can come over here, you create in this uh, project directory, you just go ahead and create a new folder, which you can do Control-Shift-N in Windows, 
or just go select new folder up here and you name it plugins capital P and then I'll go ahead and move in my zip file and then just extract this here it's probably going to create one too many folders but we'll just hit extract and sure enough this creates one too many folders so we're going to go ahead and grab three p and tools control x come back up to the plugins directory and then paste the three p anim tools directory back in your plugins directory you can delete everything else and to give you just a general you want to make sure to make sure you got it right plugins three p anim tools you just make sure the u plugin is under that and you have all these folders and now we can start our project so i'll close this down i'll come over here and double click The reason I select the game animation sample typically from all my animation projects is it already comes with some of the MetaHuman stuff. You can still add the MetaHuman plugin, of course, as well as the control rig samples. And you can bring in the third person template content if you need some UE5 mannequin animations and things like that. You can bring that in directly into the project. But I feel like the game animation sample provides the UEFN mannequin, the UE5 mannequin, UE4 mannequin. It has all the skeletons that you would want to be working with for generic animations and things like that. So it's just a pretty good jump start to get everything you need for animating. All right, so we now have new plugins available. And so when you go here, you should see 3 Pete Anim Tools and it's enabled. If it isn't enabled, you just hit the checkbox and then restart your editor and you'll have it. But now that means if we go down to plugins, 3 Pete Anim Tools content picker, and we just right click and say run editor utility widget, That'll give us our 3 Pete Anim Tools picker, which I dock down here by details. And we're ready to go. So we can go ahead and test out the new rigs. I'll show you if you go down. So this is in plugins, 3 Pete Anim Tools content rigs. So if you click on rigs, you'll see the UE5 Manny Tattoos rig and the UEFN Manny Tattoos rig. These are the rigs with the extra attach weapon R and weapon L bones. So let's pick an animation and go. So we'll go to content, characters, UEFN mannequin, animations, and we'll just pick a traversal so that you can see the attach bone. And we'll go mantle. We'll just pick a random one. Doesn't really matter which one we pick. Here, let's see what this one is. Yeah, that looks good. And if you notice, when we click on the attach bone, the attach bone is at right at that edge. So we'll select it again, move down here. Notice it's right at the edge, the front edge of that obstacle that he's jumping onto. You see it should be pretty well in line, yep, leveled up with his hand and the foot. And that tells the traversal logic how to warp this character, how to warp the person so that his hand and feet attach to the front of that, uh, you know, sit right on top of that obstacle wherever you're climbing. So let's go ahead and make... We'll take this animation. This is an animation montage. So we need the actual animation that comes with it. We can get that by just double clicking on the animation in the timeline. And then we can go to edit and sequencer, bake to control rig and select the UAFN Manny tattoos rig. Bake to control rig. And we can close this down because we are ready to go. So now if we take a look, there he is. And if you see this red dot right here, that is the attach control. So now you can fully animate that attach control however you like. And if you come over here, you have the attach button right here, so we can select it and then the right weapon control and the left weapon control. So now you have complete control over animating all these things. Tattoos is completely set up and you're in UE55 ready to start animating. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.